Hey, um, sweetheart? Yeah, baby, it's just me. I don't know if you're sleeping or just laying in bed, but I, um, I wanted to come in and check in on you. It's been a couple hours now, and I know that we had a really bad fight earlier today. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I, uh, made our favorite bubs. <laughs> um, it's that chicken parmesan you really like, and I also have some garlic bread that I picked up, um, while you were napping, so we can have that too. Or, or, um, we can get takeout or something like that if, if you don't like garlic bread right now. Um, sorry, baby. Can I just come in? Yeah, I, I know that it's our bedroom, but I didn't know if you needed more space or... I'm just, I'm trying to make a better, sweetie. Is it okay if I come talk to you? Alright, babe. I know that you're a little shaken up, so I won't try to hug you or rub your back or any of that until you let me know it's okay, right? Because I don't want to do anything that might spook you or touch you when you may not want it. So I'm just going to sit on the edge, alright? All I ask is that you listen, okay, baby? Okay. Thank you, baby. I, um... I really appreciate you being patient with me right now because we did not have a very fun morning and I said quite a few things that weren't very nice of me and that a girlfriend should not say to her boyfriend who takes very good care of her. Um, so I just want to start by owning up to that. The stuff I said when I was angry and frustrated you didn't deserve to have that taken out on you. Alright, I was feeling a lot of different emotions, but it's my responsibility to make sure I can stay calm and I can take deep breaths and you can help guide me through those things. You can help remind me to breathe and calm down and sit down and think. Those are all good things, but what I shouldn't you know, what I shouldn't do is, you know, take that negative energy and instead of asking for help, just let it all out on you because I know that asking for help and putting all of your negative feelings out on someone are two different things. Um, because you know, when, when we've worked through problems before, we, we've talked about how we're both willing to help each other but helping has to, you know, come a certain way. It doesn't come with attacking. It starts slow and, you know, with you know, being polite. And I, I wasn't polite, baby. I guess I didn't know how I was feeling. And instead of, instead of asking for help, I kind of just took it out on you. So I'm really sorry, baby. I take total responsibility for that. And I feel awful knowing that you're laying in bed and feeling yucky. I feel terrible, baby. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, baby. You don't have to say anything. I, I needed some time to reflect on it too. And it was probably good for you to take a little break. I think something that I've had to learn in our relationship is that it's okay to take a break. Some things you can't fix right away. Sometimes couples need to go to a different room for a little bit and think things through because I know personally I love to jump in and try to fix an issue right away, but um, sometimes that's not the best method and sometimes it's okay to sit and breathe and calm down separately before trying to find a solution. So... Once again, baby, I know you don't like me saying I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry over and over. So instead, I'm just going to say I appreciate you being patient with me and taking the time to teach me good communication, baby. I, I appreciate those things. I think since we've been together, on a positive note, we've 
we learned a lot more about communication, what healthy communication is, and this this will be a learning experience. It doesn't it doesn't take away that I messed up. So I want you to know that I'm taking responsibility for my mistake. But um, on the silver lining side or whatever, at least now, I have this experience. And when you're ready, we can talk through it because I want you to be able to tell me how you feel. I don't want you to ever think you have to censor something. I want to know exactly how I made you feel. I just, I want to know it all, baby. I don't feel like you should have to censor yourself because you're afraid to hurt my feelings. And I want you to know that I'm willing to listen and that I'm comfortable listening to you and that I'm someone that you can trust. Because I know in a couple of past relationships, um, a lot of people saw or claimed that you know, sharing your emotion is, oh, you're gaslighting me, you're gaslighting me. And sharing your emotions to someone isn't gaslighting. It's just kind of manipulation, if you call it that. So especially with us, I want to make sure you know that you can come to me and tell me exactly how you feel and not be afraid to say it because I'm going to love you through it and I'm going to work with you through it. And we're going to find a point in the middle because it's all about, um, you know, it's all about finding that middle point where we can both be happy and we can compromise and we can find the solution that helps us both and helps us grow most importantly. So, um, I know that you're still laying there. I'm going to put the food in the oven so it stays warm a little bit longer. But if you're ready to come out, I'll be waiting. I understand that you might not be ready today. Or, you know, maybe you need a couple days. Or maybe you just need a couple of minutes. It's all up to you. Just take those deep breaths. Know that I have some food. I can get you a glass of water. Um, if you do want to talk, we can snuggle in the bed or... Maybe watch your show on the couch. <laughs> yeah, baby, we can watch your show. Hi. <laughs> you want a hug? Okay. Come here, baby. Oh, okay, okay. Is it okay if I rub your back, baby? All right. Yeah, I know you like the scratches. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure everything's okay with you because I know sometimes... Some people can be sensitive to touch, and it's important to ask for permission. Mm hmm Especially when we're not feeling good, baby. Is it okay if I rub your hair? Yeah, baby, I'm just gonna run my fingers through it. It's okay, you can hug me. I am sorry, baby, it's okay. I'll make it better, alright? We're gonna have a fun day. We can talk and we can turn it around. Fighting is no fun. It's no fun, baby. But I'm here. Shh, it's okay. <laughs> baby, you're okay. You want to hug me for a little longer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How are you feeling? Actually, no, baby. That's, that's too much of a big question. Sometimes big questions are, are hard, especially when we're not feeling good. So... Let's see, let's break that down into a couple of questions, right? Maybe a choice. Sometimes it's easier to pick from a choice when we're upset instead of coming up with a solution on our own. So here we go. We can either sit here and cuddle more or we can go out and eat or I can go back to the kitchen and you can rest a little more here. Out of those three things, what do you want to do? Do <laughs> you want to cuddle more? Okay, we can cuddle more. Yeah, baby, whatever helps you best right now. Whatever helps you best, bubs. No, don't worry about me. I'm okay. You can just stay in my arms for a little longer. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I know, I hurt your feelings, baby. You can cry. It doesn't make you any less of a man if you cry, bubs. 
doesn't make you any less of a man to me. Mm, that's true. Okay. You want me to go get tissues? Alright, baby, you're gonna have to let go for a second so I can get the Kleenex. Do you want me to wrap you up in the blankies? Mm, here, why don't you hug this pillow? Do you want to hug the pillow or the blankie? Mm, okay, you want the pillow? Alright. I'm gonna go get the tissues. You relax, it's okay. Practice those deep breaths for me. In and out. It's four seconds each. Do you think you can do that for me, sweetie? Thank you. And if any time you want to be alone again, you just let me know, okay? Don't be, don't be afraid to tell me if you need another second to be alone, cause, cause I'll do that for you, baby. You can tell me anything. All right. I love you, sweetie. I'm gonna go get some tissues. Mm -hmm. Bye, bubs. <laughs>